When we did the first issue, there was this one little girl did a story called The Killing Machine. And it was basically, it was this Harlequin type robot just going around and blowing people away and getting all the diamonds. It'd be like a whole family, bam, 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 bam. An old man saying, can you spare a dime? No, but I can spare this, bam, bam, bam. And just, I mean, blowing people away. And in the last panel, the character is holding a gun to its own head and in the word balloon, the end. This girl had been going through a bunch of crap at home, we found out later. Um, and when I handed her the comic, when it was all published, I put it in her hand. She opened it up and saw her picture and her story. It was, I mean, that's very satisfying. Because we saw a need for children to have a safe place to, to, to come after school, get off of the street, get out you know, from getting into trouble or, or just not having anything to do. And um, it was you know, developed where they would have you know, a place to come that was safe, where they can learn and, and have fun. Many kids, um, not only in this neighborhood, but in the Shreveport and Bridger communities have to go home to an empty house. Our main mission is for this neighborhood and that is the Egan Street and surrounding um, Shreveport communities in Highland. And um, we are a window of opportunity for these kids and we're, you know, helping their, their families out so um, their kids won't be left out and they will get um, an advantage on arts and academics that they otherwise wouldn't have. I, I enjoyed academics and I, I loved school, but you can't deny that it's hard work. Even if you love it, it's hard work. And I think the balance of that is to, is to play. And so the art offers them a venue to express themselves playfully. That's what we do, we help them find what they're good at. Every kid here, every kid has incredible creativity. I've seen some kids become a lot more confident because they found something they're good at. It gives them more confidence. It makes them feel like, okay, I'm doing something worthwhile. I think they dabble around until they find that thing they really love. And um, I have seen that some kids particularly enjoy photography and just have come out of their shell and thought, you know, it would have been a child that would have, maybe five years ago, looked at themselves and thought, I don't do anything special. And then they come here and think, Whoa, look at what I did, <laughs> you know, and it's very, very cool, exciting to see that. I've seen that a lot. It's more of a, a process of we want to see them grow and develop from the work that they're creating. I think the biggest difference that I see is that kids become more trusting and that there is a huge um, impact in the way that they look at other kids and that, that other people from different circumstances than maybe, than maybe what they would have. Um, there's a good blend of people that really reflects our community and it gives them an opportunity to be together and to learn about each other without anything threatening. So I think um, when they come here that there's a big kind of opening of the spirit, so to speak, that they allow other people and other things to come in and they grow from that. I have seen um, kids that were bouncing off the walls basically when they got here and they, they've gotten into um, a much better way of disciplining themselves. Uh, I know there were some kids that would get here and they didn't have their homework, they didn't have their books, they didn't know where this was or what their assignments were, and now they come in, they sit down, and they do their homework. I'm from Mexico and I don't have uh, enough education to help them, so sometimes it's difficult for me to help with the homework. And. Uh, Every time they need help, Rance is here for us. If Renzi could get more funding, um, of course we'd love to hire more artists and teachers. We'd be able to 
um, afford um, bigger supplies so the kids could do bigger projects. Um, we could lengthen our services. Um, if possible, we could get transportation to pick the kids up and assure that you know they're here instead of um, the parents' responsibility to get them here since it is free of charge. Wherever there's a need, that's that's where you're going to find Our Lady of Sorrows. I mean, we're we're not going to pay much attention to the neighborhood or who we're ministering to. It's it's the fact of the ministry and who needs who needs help. I don't like yoga. Yeah. <laughs> what, do you, what do you like? I like cartooning. Oh, Wait, okay. I like cartooning. I like painting. Painting? Do you do the mural? Alex, do you do the mural? That's her. I like yoga. I like collage. Got you.